A pressure sensor is a device that senses pressure and converts it into an electrical signal where the amount depends upon the pressure applied. Pressure sensors can be classified in terms of pressure ranges they measure, temperature ranges of operation, and most importantly, the type of pressure they measure. There are many types of pressure sensors such as a strain gauge, potentiometric, electromagnetic, and many more, but in this video, we will discuss about the fundamentals of piezoelectric pressure sensors and its application. Piezoelectric pressure sensors can convert a vast number of mechanical external forces such as turbulence, acceleration, air resistance, strains, and many more into an electrical potential charge. We will focus on the piezoelectric sensor which uses crystals for the electric charge and the application on industrial sector, medical, and even the pressure the touchpad get in smartphones today. In the pressure sensor, a thin membrane is placed on a massive base to transfer the applied force to the piezoelectric element. Upon application of pressure on this thin membrane, the piezoelectric material gets loaded and starts generating electrical voltages. The produced voltage is proportional to the amount of pressure applied. A piezoelectric sensor internal circuit is given. The resistance Ri is the internal resistance or insulator resistance. The inductance is due to the inertia of the sensor. The capacitance Ce is inversely proportional to the elasticity of the sensor material. For the proper response of the sensor, the load and the leakage resistance must be large enough so that low frequencies are preserved. Piezoelectric transducer works with the principle of piezoelectricity. The faces of piezoelectric material, usual quartz, is coated with a thin layer of conducting material such as silver. When stress has applied, the ions in the material move towards one of the conducting surfaces while moving away from the other. This results in the generation of charge. This charge is used for calibration of stress. The polarity of the produced charge depends upon the direction of the applied stress. Stress can be applied in two forms as compressive and tensile stress. The working of a basic piezoelectric transducer can be explained by the figure. Here, quartz crystal coated with silver is used as a sensor to generate a voltage when stress is applied on it. A charge amplifier is used to measure the produced charge without dissipation. To draw very low current, the resistance R1 is very high. The capacitance of the lead wire that connects the transducer and piezoelectric sensor also affects the calibration, so the charge amplifier is usually placed very near the sensor. So in a piezoelectric transducer, when mechanical stress is applied, a proportional electric voltage is generated which is amplified using charge amplifier and used for calibration of applied stress. Piezoelectric sensors are versatile tools for the measurement of various processes. They have been successfully used in various applications such as in industrial sector, medical, and pressure sensor in the touchpads of mobile phones. For industrial sector, piezoelectric sensors are used as engine knock sensor to sense the detonation before it becomes problematic. This gives the control system time to make the required adjustments. Pressure sensors In nearly any application requiring the measurement of dynamic pressure changes, using piezoelectric pressure sensor yields more reliable results than using conventional electromechanical pressure sensors. Sonar equipment Depth sounders and sonar equipment rely extensively on piezoelectric sensors to transmit and receive electrosonic pings in the 50 to 200 kilohertz range. These sensors also have high power density that enables large amounts of acoustic power to be transmitted from a small package.
for medical applications. Piezoelectric sensors are often used in medical ultrasound equipment. Advances in equipment over the decades have enabled improved monitoring of pregnancies and facilitated minimally invasive surgical procedures. The advent of the harmonic scalpel has enabled surgeons to simultaneously incise and coagulate tissue during a surgical procedure without the need for cauterization. This leads to less tissue damage, less blood loss, and faster healing times.